So today's gonna be a little interesting. Let's talk about it, shall we? So I've been traveling and you've been catching up on all my adventures. And along the way, I decided I needed to take a little bit of a stop to show something that's gonna be in the van pretty soon. Not yet, but pretty soon. In fact, on this particular travel series that I've been doing, I've been going about life with my small green fridge and I've loved it every minute of every second of every day. But Set Power reached out to me and said, hey, we have one that's a little bit bigger. Would you like to try it now that your van's a little different? And I said, sure. So today we're gonna be looking at the MC20 by Set Power, which is a little bit bigger than my green fridge. And because I am a Set Power girly, I knew I needed to check it out. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Set Power, I have been using Set Power refrigerators for the vast majority of my van journey. I have had a larger one and then I went to a smaller one because I changed my layout and then I rehomed the larger one and then I got one for my parents and we're a set power people over here for sure. We have definitely been won over by the quality of the brand. But whenever they gave me the opportunity to check this one out, it kind of solved a little bit of an issue that I'm having in my van currently with the smaller fridge. The fridge itself is absolutely amazing. However, now that I have a little bit more space, I could explore a slightly larger unit. This is my favorite part of getting new stuff and trying it out, seeing what it looks like. So as we're getting into this one, this is the MC20. It's a 20 liter capacity, DC 12 volt, net weight 24 pounds, gross weight 28 pounds. The product dimensions are pretty nice for the size that I have because this is gonna fit next to my blank space in my front seat. So why am I a set power girly? because of their quality. Their quality and then their options are really nice and they're a more affordable overall refrigerator or freezer. And so in the time that I have been using the various set powers that I have, which I have reviews on all on my channel, I have not had any problems whatsoever with any of them, which is apparently kind of unheard of because a lot of people struggle with their refrigerators on the road and ask me constantly lots of questions about what kind I'm using or if I can help them troubleshoot theirs. So with that said, lots of good packaging. I'm going to make sure that I take all of this out and then we'll see the actual unit itself. And then at the end of the video, again, I'll compare the one that I currently am using to this one so we can kind of see the differences. Oh wow, I'm, I'm already seeing one major difference. Out of the box, and this is what it looks like. Obviously a different color, but a few other things. The top itself is different. It kind of has a grooved feel to it, but it has these indentions, which will help things from not sliding if I put them on there. The display looks pretty much the same as my other one. This is a very user-friendly display. I do enjoy that it has these areas where you can actually strap it down if you need to. The plug end is over here and has a nice plug cover, so so whenever it is not in use, you can cover it and keep it safe. And then they do have the reversible sides. So you can flip it up and then whenever you close it, it locks into place. It doesn't budge once you've locked it into place. And if I want to, I can change the side where it opens up based on how I have it set in the van. So I likely will be moving it from opening this way to opening in the opposite direction, just to make it a little easier because of how I'm set up. That's one of the things I love about the set power fridges is they're more versatile. A lot of refrigerators I've looked at have a handle on one side and that's just where it is. But set power has it where you can hinge it from either side. So if I decide that I want to shift it in my layout and I need it to open from a different direction, instead of having to reroute cords around my van to figure out what works best, I can instead just flip the lid over and in doing so, I can open it from either side, which is a huge win and it makes it much more user friendly, like I said, for anyone, not just myself who's been on the road for as long as I have, but for a novice who's getting out on a weekend and just wants to go camping. It's not something that you have to have a lot of experience to be able to use and it makes it much better. So the way that this works is very simple. There are these little tiny grooves, which you can see right here. And there's a puzzle piece that is attached to the lid. So you just kind of put it into that puzzle piece and then you can pull it out. Super simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then you can just put it right back in there. If I can line it up with one hand. So easy, you can do it with one hand. Now inside there's a sizable amount of room and there's something on the side that I want to bring your attention to over here that all of the set power fridges have. This is actually a little hack for you to know how cool that your fridge needs to be. They do have that in here to help you see what you could store, but also how cool it should be for safety. 
Right next to that, you have a troubleshooting and warning section. The nice thing about having the error code like key there is that most of the time, if we have something pop up, it's user generated error. Like for example, you plugged it in incorrectly or your plug is loose. And those are very easy fixes, all explained right there in that little insert. But if you do ever need customer support, they have wonderful customer support at Set Power. If you have any questions, their website has a frequently asked questions. And so I definitely think Think that if you are kind of like thinking about a fridge this one is a good one because they are a reputable company and also they have a lot of consistency in their brand now if you're watching this and you are curious about getting a fridge but haven't quite figured out what you might want one for or what you're going to be taking with you or how large of a unit that you want this one is a nice size smaller fridge and I'm going to show you some of the things that can be put in there in just a few moments but first let's see what's in this little box inside the fridge it's, it's it's right in there here we go and this should be all of our cords but we may have a few other things in here too i'm not sure it's gonna be a surprise into the box we go and to explore the unknown okay inside we have a bag with cords so that was expected but then we have this other little bag right here which has our book and a few other interesting things. Starting off with the cords, this is a nice zipper bag to keep everything together. And we have our basic cord, which I will use the most frequently. This is the DC cord. It goes into your cigarette port or your DC power port on a power station. And then the other end plugs into the refrigerator. We'll use this in just a moment. And then we also have one that you can use if you would like to plug in at home. And this is a two-part system where there's a little plug on this end that can go into a regular wall plug. And then on this end, it plugs into the refrigerator. And then the two go together through this little hub on the end. Which brings me to our next point of discussion. Do you have to use this just in a vehicle? No, you could use these anywhere. If you have a kiddo who's going off to college, you could get them one of these and they can plug it in and use it as a chest style refrigerator at their college. You can have these in your vehicle whenever you go camping. You can bring them inside so that you can have just some extra places to store stuff. Or if your refrigerator goes out, you can use these kind of to keep you up so that you can keep food at your house. Although these are designed for People like myself who are in vans, they're also designed for people who are not on the road. And so that's one of the other things that I really like about Set Power is they've considered that and they've packed accordingly with those extra cords. Now plugging in is really easy. Again, we just take this end, we lift our little cover, and then this end has a little puzzle piece that it will fit on, like so. It just goes right in here and then the plug cover just kind of sits on the top. And then this is set up now where I could take this to my van and plug it into a power station or plug it into my van as I drive. For the purpose of today's video, I have this very small power station in here and it's at about 83%. I turned on the DC and then we turn on the fridge and that's pretty much it. Now I hold it down and I can change the temperature depending on if I want it to go up or if I want it to go down just by pushing the plus and minus buttons on the fridge itself. It will go down to negative four degrees. And so while that's running, I'm gonna go ahead and close it and let it get nice and cold on the inside. It's pulling just over 30 watts to get it started. And if you were using a power station, that would be very handy to know. Now it's currently 70 degrees in the refrigerator, so we're gonna be doing a little time test. Just for reference, it's 128 right now when I'm filming this. There's a little bit of a hum, but it's not loud. And as it's continuing to have to really pull down because it started out so warm, it's escalated just a little bit. This is what I was talking about with the power up cycle. Now, why do I do reviews about things like this for you guys? Because I started out once and didn't know where I was going and what to do just the same as you all. So if you're a newer person who is starting van life or wanting to look into a fridge, the very plain speak, matter of fact approach is the most helpful. Overthinking things, learning about all of the circuitry and things like that is just a little overwhelming to be honest whenever you first start out and I completely understand. So whenever I show something, I wanna show how long it takes to cool down, how long that it, 
is going to pull a certain amount of power because again, power is a thing on the road. But I also wanna show you what all you can put in there. And so these are tests that I commonly do to kind of express those things. And then I take these things out and I put them through the ringer and I give feedback on if I'm using it, if I need to change something, if I'm moving into my van even. And then also if I have any problems along the way. Okay, while that's cooling down, I'm gonna go get the other fridge so we can compare. Do, 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 there's dimples. And I know you're probably thinking, okay, but you were just on the road. Why are you at your base camp getting your refrigerator out of your van? Don't worry, trust the process. Just trust the process. This is actually pre-recorded and um, yeah, I'm gonna be taking the new fridge out on the next set of adventures, but I'm still on my other set of adventures. So just, just keep going with it. Okay, next up, let's go through this really quickly before we do our comparison. And inside I have the book, which I always recommend you guys look through because it has tons of tips. And then also there is a warranty card in here. And the set power warranty is one of the best in the fridge market for sure. Last but not least, they have the straps. Like I've had so many different set powers and I've never had the actual straps. So you could put this in your overlanding rig and then you could strap it down and it's not going anywhere. That, that's awesome. Now I have my home itself pretty warm today. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to cool down the fridge than it normally would. And I did that on purpose because I'm getting ready to move into the summer months and this is gonna go in the van for those summer adventures. And so I wanted to see how it would do when it's warm. And so even though I have my ceiling fans on in here today, it's about 75 or 80 degrees inside the house, which I know you're probably saying, why, why would you melt like that? We do a lot of things for science. Ugh. Ugh. Time to start our comparison. Obviously, again, the color's different. The lid itself, very, very different. And I really enjoy that this one is more like the larger units that they have that I've used in the past. Like this is so good because it helps things from just not falling or sliding off by having these grooves. And you might think, oh, it's not that big of a deal because I do put things on top of this while I'm driving. However, this is going to allow, for example, if I wanna use my Road Pro, I can stick something that's a heat resistant surface here, set the Road Pro on top, and it's not going to slide off while I'm cooking. So that's one of the biggest differences. But there's quite a few other differences, which I think you can kind of see by just the height itself is a little bit taller. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this one over so that we can set this one directly beside it and you can get a full idea of how much of a difference this is. This one definitely is taller, which I think will solve one of my issues that I'm having. They're not too much different when it comes to the size of the actual fridge itself. So the width is very similar, but the height adds at least I want to say two and a half inches to this easily. For example, one of the things that I noticed was that I like to get rid of packaging and so creamer and then also things like chai tea I put into these kind of little containers. These are actually vacuum sealed containers. They're very nice. However, let's put it in this one and then try to close the lid. Nope. Now, I initially bought these because they fit with the other refrigerator that I was using, the larger one, and they were perfect because they would minimize the amount of space that I was using. But I wanted to be able to use them in this other fridge and I would have to lay them down. These are pretty good because you can actually seal them with this lid, so that wasn't that big of a deal. The garlic, however, uh, it didn't have one of those little vacuum seal lids, and so when I laid it on its side, you can only imagine my van smelled like garlic for a while. It wasn't the fridge's fault. User error. Just like the thing that I was talking about with the plugging it in, most of the time if you have an issue, it's user generated, also happens inside. So now let's see while this is cooling off if this will fit in here. Guess what? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Definitely fits, no problems. So as you can see, this is definitely a bigger unit. And because of that, I can store more things that I need to. And with me going into summer, that means more cold water bottles, that means more things that I can use to keep my body cool if I'm in a warmer climate like here in Texas. And I think that that's really important whenever you're thinking about the different things that you will want in your refrigerator. Are you going to need certain space for certain things? For example, my little vacuum bottles. 
Are they the only things that I could get? No, absolutely not. But are they the things that I use? Yes. And so being able to accommodate those uniquely is going to be nice. And again, there's nothing wrong with this other fridge. It's just more compact, which worked better for my former setup because I had less room. But now that I have a little bit more space, why not add a couple more inches? Again, a little bit closer here. Lids are very similar in the way that they lift up and the way that they close and lock. And I do really love this lid style because your fridge doesn't just open randomly when you're hitting bumps. It also, you know it's closed once it's closed. So you're not gonna have anything get hot or have any kind of issues as a result of a problem with closing. The ends, very similar very similar in the way that the vents look this one's just a bit larger and then again opening it up which is defeating our timer probably but a big wide space so we are now down to 43 degrees and it's been about 20 minutes now i've opened this three or four times and it's still maintained 43 degrees even with me doing that the most common things people ask me if they can store are can you store soft drinks can you store large things that are like a gallon of milk? There's definitely enough physical room inside for a gallon of milk to fit. However, let's see if it's tall enough for a soft drink because a soft drink and a gallon of milk are very similar in height. So in we go. And I can already tell you, no, it's not quite tall enough for a soft drink. Now the next question is, could I lay the soft drink down? Yes, yes I can. You can see the amount of room that it takes up inside and you can see that easily if you're thinking of context of what fits you could put two soft drinks on the bottom level and you'd still have four or five inches of vertical space to work with so i like to think of things in like physical things i can see with my hands even if i'm not looking at it so if i were to take two two liter bottles and I were to put them on the ground. I could put two more on top of them, meaning I could stack four of them all together and I still have a little bit of clearance there. So at at least 75 or 80 degrees in my home, this is now 39 degrees on the inside. It has been less than 30 minutes. So we're almost to freezing at this point. And all in all, I think this is a great amount of time that this is taking. Again, I've tried a lot of different things. And the one thing I can say definitely that I stand by with Set Power is that they are consistent in how long it takes for their compressors to kick on and off. And then also how much power they consume. There's not going to be this rogue day where all of a sudden your compressor is just like doing weird stuff. And I can't say the same for some of the other brands because... I definitely have tried some that, that did that. So if you do happen to be looking for a good fridge, I definitely recommend Set Power. Now this is the newest model and that's why I'm testing it out to show you guys so that we can see if there's any real huge differences. Size wise, yes, huge difference, very nice really really liking that also i do appreciate that they have the tie down straps which make it more user friendly for if you're wanting to use this for an off-roading thing this is also a very good size if you are wanting that secondary home fridge or something for a college dorm because it doesn't take up so much room that it's uncomfortable but at the same time you can pack a big punch with a little space and i like that so with that said the MC20 is going in the van for my summer adventures. And then I'll be leaving this one here at base camp so that if I do decide to go back to a smaller setup, I have it ready to go. Otherwise, I'll use this if we have a power outage. I can just plug it into a power station, keep everything nice and fresh. And I like to do that because I'm all about preparedness. Again, that's why I like these. They're small, they're compact, they're easy to use, and they're good for a variety of different settings and scenarios. And so, this one's a good one, guys. I definitely approve of this one, and I recommend it to you guys if you are already looking for a refrigerator. Now, never feel obligated to purchase anything just because I mentioned it here on my channel. Also, if you have bigger needs, go check out some of the larger models. I think you'll be really excited about them. Look at this. Look at this, there's, there's so many different models here, guys. Now, as always, guys, never feel pressured to purchase anything on my channel just because you've seen it here. But if you do decide that you want one of these and you would like to save about 16%, they have offered me a code for a time. So I have a link down here and the code is Bunny Plays here. Just type it in and you'll get your discount. Now, if you do not wanna use my code, that is okay. You do not have to use my code. I just wanna put the information out there more than anything because I know when I started out, there wasn't a lot of great information about some of the brands that I now currently use all the time and I want to make sure that this is always a resource for you guys with honesty and I kind of tell you what I see as I see it and if I have any issues along the way I kind of tell you those too 
Set Power really hasn't been one of those companies that I've ever had to like say anything bad about. And I think you can see through the consistency of my use over the years that that says a lot because I put things through the ringer. I need to plan what I'm going to be putting in this thing because I have lots of exciting adventures coming up. Of course, I'm still currently experiencing them though, if you're watching my channel. So whenever I come back, I'm going to change this out. And, well, that's neither here nor there. We'll talk about that in the future. Until next time, guys. Bye.